Greetings everyone, this is not a live segment. This little clip is just going to be pre-recorded because I want to point out that I am an absolute madman and I actually started a new game. I did try streaming this game uh, one more time after the most recent stream, but then I realized that it is simply unwinnable. Well, not unwinnable because I beat the game, but unwinnable in the sense that you cannot possibly get the good ending because I was unable to reach a particular ghost. And I am approaching that ghost right now. In this new file, I just, just got the oil lantern. And now I am going to make use of it in a way that the guide that I was using did not tell me to do until the end of the game. At which point, I think I had permanently lost my oil lantern. So instead of doing the ruins, which is where I just came from, I am going to immediately come back to the boat shed. Turn on my oil lamp. And boom! There's a ghost right here. I was not able to see this ghost because I didn't have an oil lamp and there's nowhere to light a candle. Ah, you actually found me! You haven't found Kurt yet? I guess I lost. He's so good at hide-and-go-seek. Last time I finally found him after he fell asleep at night. Oh, that's a hint about the kid in the locker. You've got to find him soon. There we go. This is the ghost that I could not get. And now I have his astral pace. And now that I've made use of my oil lamp for now, I'll remove it and then go through the whole rest of the game until we get caught up. So, I'll take care of that off-camera, but for now, to the live stream. We are back with Echo Knight 2, and uh, I actually tried streaming this before the end of the game with the good ending, and uh, it turns out I was unable to complete the game because there was a kid hiding out in the boathouse. We're going to head to that general area but I absolutely required a lantern to see him. But the thing is, after you get captured and put in that jail cell, you lose some of your inventory, which is generally a good thing because it clears a lot of clutter, but it also clears your lantern. So that made that just unfeasible. It was very frustrating. So now I no longer have to deal with that. What I do have to deal with is learning how to get into the housewife bedroom area. So I'm in the central corridor, here, here. Okay, that doesn't look bad, actually. Let's go to the east wing corridor, I guess. Which is probably the other way. No, for once I'm doing it right. Now, so as it turns out, for my solution, I actually had to restart the entire game, and the moment I got the lantern, I found that hide and seek kid. So when, like, if you're watching this live, I need to tell you this, but... Yeah, I do want to go in here. Oh, there's two doors, damn it. Um, but otherwise... Oh, that's my problem. Uh, if you're watching this in post, I will have put that little video clip at the beginning of this video already, so everything should be covered. Oh, that's right! I remember this was a nuisance. The last time I tried streaming this, I was doing this whole rigmarole with the East Wing thing, and I don't need to do that. Instead, I'm going to go upstairs to solve that little problem. Totally forgot about that. So let's make this a little bit easier. So, yeah, other than that kid, I'm going to go and find every ghost that I've already taken care of. And we'll see if we can beat this game with the good ending. I hope this all works according to plan. Yeah, East Wing. We're good. And all the lights are on everywhere, so I should not have to worry about any malicious ghosts. There is still the one in the very beginning of the game, but I haven't seen her in a million years. And right now I'm going to the housewife's bedroom, which was guarded by the ghost maid, but we've taken care of that too so no big deal yeah we're good here we go it's 
It's dark and spooky, but we'll take care of it. This stream might not go for as long as some of my other ones just because there isn't that much to do. I do apologize, but it'll be nice to come to the epic conclusion of Echo Knight 2. Jessica, yes. She'd be able to open Albert's eyes. Okay, bye. Astral Peace. How many do I have by this point? 27. So normally we'd have that one hide-and-seek kid. Instead, there's the fisherman, the girl looking for the hide-and-seek kids, and the old man who refuses to leave until you've, um taking care of every single other ghost. So I guess what I'll do is I'll... Eh, I probably could have opened with this, but I'll head right back to the central lounge area because that's the hide-and-seek kids zone. And after that we'll go boating and then come back here via boat and then go boating. Ugh, what a nuisance. I can't take care of the old man until later, so I have to sail away to get him, then I have to come back here for the other old man. It is what it is, but we are ever so close to getting all 30 astral pieces. I, for one, am excited, because this one's been a long time coming. It's been two entire playthroughs to get to this point. Let me tell you how fun that was. Oh, Jacob, am I ever going to do one of those version comparisons of um, uh, Central Lounge? Of Resident Evil 3? Maybe at some point, but those things are exhausting. The good news is that there aren't nearly as many versions of RE3 as there are 1 and 2. Oh, hello there, Kristen. It's been a while. Welcome back. Hello there, Winterburn. How's it going? Alright, so hide and seek girl should be... Here we go. Uh, am I properly equipped? Do I have the Medal of Wolf? The Wolf Medallion. I do, and four. Count them, four. Four sheep's gold coins? Oh my goodness. Let's talk to the hide and seek girl. Daniel, Kurt, Jeff, and Laura are still hiding. I hope they all come back soon. I forgot, I have to use the coin... Easy enough. I think I have to use them each individually as well. Hello there, Phil Halo. Welcome. Hello there, J-Bug. What's up? Okay, so Sheep's Gold Coin. Let's hand them over. Three of them are still left. Not to worry. Not to worry. Two more. There's only one more to go, and this is where my stream came to a screeching halt last time I tried this. But hey, I have the one more! That's all of them! You finally found everyone! Yay, now your spirit can rest because that was the longest game of hide and seek. That must have been pretty rough. <laughs> So, now we're going to go sailing. Hello there, Meowington. As a matter of fact, yes, I did solve the problem. I am quite pleased. I solved the problem by starting an entire damn game. I did everything again. So, um, map. I never remember how best to get to the, the wharf. It's some weird roundabout way. Because this is the North Wharf, right? So all I have to do is go to the central courtyard, but, like, uh, uh. I gotta go through the locker room, so I guess I'll go to the east wing corridor. I think I know how to handle it from this point. I have to keep forgetting that I'm facing south, so east and west are not right and left, they're left and right. <laughs> uh, okay, so I believe I sneak my way through the locker room to get to the courtyard. Okay, there are very few dark places left in this mansion. That that one malicious ghost doesn't stand a chance. Oh my god, it feels good to actually get this done. I am most pleased. Here's the North Wharf. Now, 
for um, to remind anybody who was here the last time I tried streaming this, um, and to inform people who were not here the last time I tried streaming this, here's the boathouse. Here's inside the boathouse. There are no places for candles, and we're outside. There is no light switch. So you must have the lantern. The kid's just right here, right in front of me, except with the lights out, he's completely invisible. So I started a new game. The moment I got my lantern, I left the ruins. I came right back here. Here's the kid. Got him. Boom. Done. For some reason, the guide's telling me to get the kid now. So it's way too late for that. It's impossible. So this kid has already been found. Now, we will take care of the second last ghost in the game. Uh, the ones that I could save, anyway. So, the ruins. We had left this fisherman ghost fishing, and if you talk to him, he says, now all I have to do is wait. Well, we've waited. And lo and behold, here he is, just like that. Take a look at this. It's a big one. I can almost see the look on his face. Ho ho ho! Got him. Yeah, Kristen, that kind of is Sierra levels of gotcha. I mean, the good news is you could still beat the game, but the bad news is there are multiple missable ghosts because once you don't have the lantern anymore you can't talk to that you know, right back to the mansion you can't talk to that one guy kneeling at the ruins going oh no i lost him what a shame although that does make me wonder oh no no you can do that you have to because you only lose the lantern once you get the item that's underground because of that guy okay i guess that one is not missable Fair enough, but that one kid, that one hide-and-seek kid, what a nuisance. Yeah, Kieran, very, it's, it's helpful when the guy tells you to do something impossible. Yeah, now use your lantern, and I'm like, oh, easy. Uh, uh, wait a minute, surely it's in my item menu. Uh, oil lighter, no, that's for candles. Uh, uh, uh. I, I was not happy. I was not happy. But, now we are at long last going to go to the old man in the library who gave me that library bookshelf sliding puzzle, which actually isn't that bad. I was just kind of reading the diagrams on the guide and, like, not quite understanding how they worked. It's, it's actually pretty straightforward. I just wasn't getting it, so that's not a big deal. But now I gotta go back to the reading room, which... It's been a little while, I kind of forgot where that was. I want to say it's over where I was at the beginning, actually, near the housewife's room. But let me make sure of this, because there's the housewife's room. Gym, warehouse, maybe it's upstairs? And I don't know if L1 or R1 allow me to click upstairs, but when I've tried it, it just, like, crashes the game, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know if that's an error in the game's programming or if it's just because I'm playing uh, a downloaded version. Because this is a Japanese-only game, remember. This is fan-translated. So, I like, there's no such thing as a physical version, like an official physical version of this game. So I'm going to go ahead and make my way upstairs and see if I can't find that reading room. I, I am flaking on where that was. I do apologize. I don't even remember if it's in the East Wing. I'm heading toward the East Wing, but... So let's take a quick look where the big library area is. That's the mask stuff. Yeah, it's the wrong side. It's the West, isn't it? Dressing, guest, guest. Yeah, that's what it is. The Star Chart Archives, the Conversation Room. Okay, the West Wing.
I forgot about that. There's another dimension to the West Wing that I was not able to explore in the beginning of the game, but now, well, we've already gotten that payoff, but now we can complete it. I, I'm quite excited about this because I have no idea where the good ending is going to go. The bad ending was quite interesting. So I'm coming from this way. Oh no. Ugh. Not a big deal, mild nuisance. Gotta go down to go up. Video games. I forgot about this. I had to unlock a path into the west wing downstairs so I could sneak back up and around upstairs because the entire upstairs is not connected, which is baffling house design. I guess it makes for halfway decent exploratory video game design, but if you lived here, like really? You gotta go down and around to go to the room next door? Okay, so where is the stairway? I guess over here, right? The south staircase. West Wing Corridor. Again, my apologies for flaking. Hello there, Dragon Ace. Welcome. So, welcome to the West Wing. I'm going to neurotically check my map again. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, I guess that's right. I do this funkiness with a dining room. All right, fine. Whatever. Welcome to the dining room where I think one of the kids was hiding under a table way back when. Kitchen I don't think is going to do it, so let's pass from the... Actually, I forgot. Which way is better? The cigar lounge to the joined room or the kitchen to the joined room? Cigar lounge is... No good. This game knows how to troll, I'll give it that. This isn't even me having a bad sense of direction. This is just like a weird map for the house. Plus my bad sense of direction. Hey, do you remember that time this video game had the, uh, the walk-in freezer? that I think has literally no purpose in the entire game, except they programmed it in because a place like this would probably have a walk-in freezer, but there are no items, anything like that. Okay, see, here's the joined room, and the cigar lounge leads there too, but whoops, it's a dead end because I can't cross small barriers, so we're going this way. Hey, look, it's the south staircase. It's where I wanted to be. Last stream, I tried doing this whole, like I said, rigmarole. I never noticed that. The blowing curtains is red. But I, I did this whole thing with the east way downstairs to get up. And with now this week, with the, the west wing, I'm like, ah, I'll go up first. And that was the wrong choice. Wait, the lion's room. This doesn't lead to the freaking astral room, does it? I guess it does. Actually... Oh, that's right, because I came out this way before. I don't think I came in. So how did I go in the other time? Whatever, who cares? Don't worry about it. Here's the bookshelves. I don't care. Leave me alone. Okay, hey, look, it's the study. Hey, look, it's the guy! I did it! This is the end of the old Clancy family history. I should be going, too. Everyone must be waiting for me. The last spirit piece. You must get this one last. And you know what? I did just that. I am actually quite proud of this. So now we could go sailing one more time. Actually, now that I think about it, two more times. Now where does this door go? The north, because this is how I first came in here. I guess let's just find out. This is how I first made it to the star archives. Here's the north corridor. Oh, that's right. I think I have to leave the other way because I came here by climbing up to the roof and crossing all the way over to the other side of the house on the roof and going down the escape hatch. So I think I actually do have to leave the way I came in. Once again, this was not a sense of direction thing. This was, oh, I totally forgot how inconvenient it was to make it to this place. Hey, look, it's a Magic the Gathering card. Blood Moon. It's 
South Staircase, we are approaching our climactic conclusion. Now, the basic gameplay is going to play out uh, pretty much identically, but what happens from there is going to be interesting, because I don't know what it's going to be. It's quiet. Too quiet. I guess I'll save at the kitchen. Why not? The game lets me save at the very end anyway, but let's just give ourselves a little safety save. Because I'm so pro. That doesn't even make sense, but it's too late. I'm talking about something else now. Okay, now I actually have to go back to the North Wharf again. Which is a little irritating. Also, actually, I wonder... I wonder if the old man... I wonder if I could have talked to the old man in the study earlier. Is he just a Clancy? Like, wait till all the other Clancy's leave? Because the guide is telling me to do the fisherman last. I don't even know... Whatever, I don't care. In any case, we got a sense of closure with that last thing he said. So the bloodline passed away or whatever. It's fine. Everything's fine. Now where is the east? East is on the other side. We're going to go back to the north wharf again and enter an area that the game has teased, I think, since even the very first time I was able to access the boat, but I just never bothered with it. We're going to go to what I think is the equivalent of the blind man's room in the first Echo Knight. You know, come here to turn in your astral pieces for weird, mysterious reasons. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this will be cool, because I have, I have never seen this location before. And how much you want to bet, like... I missed some story trigger. Oops, you can't go to the church, even though that makes no sense because I just got the last astral piece. But watch the game screw me again. Just watch it happen. Anyway, where should I go? The chapel. South Shore Chapel. I've never done it. So there you go. I have just never seen this place, so let's see what it has to offer. Oof, that's kind of dizzying. Alright, we're here. Does my map work for this place? Yeah, okay. Welcome to the South Wharf. Been a while since I've seen an unmarked door. Chapel entrance. This looks pretty cool, actually. Water fountain. Mysterious colored water is flowing out. Yeah, it's obviously the gold water from Kingsfield 2. It's from a fountain of Seath. I can heal my health and my magic with it. But no, let's go in. Chapel Corridor, wow. I've never even attempted to navigate this place, so I do not know what to expect. I guess it all leads to the center room anyway. Celestial Globe. Used to track the movements of the stars. Oh, okay, this makes me want to search the other side. A painting's been hung here. Oh, that doesn't help. Which side am I on? Okay, I'm on the map's left. Place of worship. Man, this looks gorgeous. And there's another door here? Huh. This is a beautiful looking room, especially for a PS1 game.
Hmm. I was wondering if I could look at the stained glass window. Oh, it just goes. Here, I have 30 astral paces. Feels good, man. Um. Oh, do I get to just take all this stuff? The more you turn in, the more you get to take? That's actually really cool. I get holy water? I've never seen this in this game. I don't know what it... What? Okay. I don't know what it is used for <laughs> this transparent bottle seems to be made of glass there's a gold liquid inside uh all right more this is cool i didn't realize there's a sense of progression of stuff you could take and it locks these things shut once you've had them and there's a freaking record what okay I feel like I'm playing like Super Metroid, where each of the statues crumbles as you advance the game. Wait, why did it... I can't get the shoes? Okay, I guess that's over. I'll take the record? It says frequency, and I cannot read what it says on the bottom. Shoes? Uh -huh. I mean, are we good? There's a shelf here. What do you think the shoes were for? Uh. uh, record. It's an old record, but I think I can play it if I could find a gramophone. What? Was there a gramophone in the game somewhere? What does that do? I, I have no idea what this is four but okay I guess I'll go to this door now that was bizarre whoa okay that's kind of awesome even though there's no sound and we're in Oh, no way. Is it the same guy? Oh, this place is much brighter. There's a strange transparent substance in the pillar, which is being used as some sort of aquarium. I can't believe it's the same guy. Hi. It has been a while. How many years has it been since I've met someone like you? Throughout the years, I have encountered many people. Every so often, I've met a man much like yourself. There's something very different about you. Yes, and I find it fascinating. <laughs> you don't have much time left. Let me just give you one piece of advice. You will be presented with a very important decision soon. That woman will ask you to make a choice. The choice you make will affect your destiny. Don't think too deeply about it, just believe in the path you have chosen. For your sake, and for the woman you love. I wonder what sort of fate you will choose for yourself. I'm looking forward to it. We will meet again. Whoa. So he doesn't offer me anything this time in exchange? I mean, there's the items in the, the place, but he just disappears comic book like is that an allusion to the first game at 12 oh that's like stars isn't it I got the book wait so that the shelf is just gone I'm back to where I started or, no, the window's gone, there's a book on the floor. Can I... what? <laughs> Comic book. I found it at the ritual site in the chapel. The moon and the sisters. 
Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters who loved each other very much. Unfortunately, the two of them were afflicted with an incurable illness, which plagued them from the moment they were born. Once the illness began to spread, it seemed impossible to save them, and that was precisely when a visitor appeared to one of the sisters. Oh, hello there, Micro Slice. Welcome to the stream. It's getting, uh, it's getting climactic. Oh, Kristen, it's got the same French title it had in the first game. I don't even know if I noticed the, the title in the first game. As she wept in pain, a man appeared at her side and whispered in her ear. You are in such pain, aren't you? Still, there is a way to save yourself. Here, let me give you this stone. Use it to kill your sister when the moon shines red. If you do this, you will surely be spared from death. She responded in disbelief, claiming that she would never do such a thing. She would not want to live with her own sister's blood on her hands. Hearing this, the man simply smiled and walked away. Soon after that, the moon turned red, and one of the sisters died that night. She gripped the stone firmly in her hands, a dull gleam emanating from within it. She cried out one last time, saying again that she could not live with her sister's blood in her hands, and her wish was granted. She gave her own life to give her sister immortality. And the sister she left behind still searches for the answer even now. Did her sister do the right thing? Is there anyone out there who can give her the answer that she seeks? And now we step back out to the place of worship and prepare our climactic conclusion. I, like, I don't understand why I can't get every item, though. Like, the shoes are just off-limits. Maybe I could have spared one of the holy water. When would I use the record? That's what's driving me crazy. Like, I mean, this is like a 1930-something era. There's got to be a gramophone around, but what's the record for? Like, do I just get to hear a cool tune? I suppose I could go look for it if I really want to, but I don't. <laughs> I know there's a jukebox. I wonder if I could put the record into that. Anyway, let's step on out of here. And let us prepare for our climactic conclusion. Now we're going to go to the final location. I can't believe the blind man's just back and in another weird mystical teleport location. Clock tower. Alright, so as you saw, the blind man said that I would be presented with a choice. Oh, Kristen, was there a gramophone in the ballroom? That's a good question. Uh, I do not remember. I mean, there was obviously music there, but I don't remember. It's gonna drive me crazy. I mean, I am allowed to save here, so I guess I could look for it on my own time. Okay, I know there's, there's there should be a phone, like in this room, I think. Yeah, there we go. I guess I'll overwrite my save, although I do regret not getting those boots. Welcome to the clock tower. Oh, Kristen, the shoes mitigate the damage you walk you take over broken glass. Yeah, there's been there's like what two instances of broken glass in the entire game, and they're both incredibly easy to avoid. <laughs> yeah, Winterburn, there is broken glass. I think I did step on it at least once during a stream. 
and we actually saw it uh, during this stream for a second when I was moving around one of the staircase hallways, but like, who cares? <laughs> That's such an almost useless power. <laughs> or power up. Ugh, I do love those giant weights. That's so cool. Oh, I'm actually playing. Whoops. I forgot when he stopped <laughs> doing something. There, now we both ride up. I am glad that this sequence is a lot quicker than the activate switches, turn off the steam, run around in circles thing you had to do in the first game. It wasn't overly hard to do, but when you're looking for the other ending, it's just, ah, uh, come on. Anyway, uh, how was your day, Albert? Oh yeah, this was the dangerous part. Where the hell's the thing? Like, I know the guy's supposed to be shooting at me right now, but this, like, where was the thing? This was it. Yeah, let's not deal with walking on spinning gears, please. Thank you. What a freaking nuisance, right? I guess I can't go that way to that ladder anymore, so I'll go to this one. And this was the scary part where I actually died uh, the last time I did this, because these gears were spinning and I'm dodging his bullets, but I don't have to worry about that this time. Or the spinning, I mean. The bullets I certainly have to worry about. This is, what, like the fourth time in the entire game I've been hit by anything? <laughs> it's some low number. I forgot how awesome this floor was. Anyway, we're just about at the end here. What the hell? Whoa. What? Like, I, di I didn't move. I was just spinning. Oh, that oof. Thank you, FromSoft. Cool visual, though. I'll give it that. Okay, this was the end. Richard! Hurry, get me out of here. Yeah, this time I actually have control, and I can get her out of here. This was not possible the first time. What happened to that man? He's insane. If you don't get me out of here, we'll both be... Look out! Oh, we're still doing this? I won't let you take her away from me. If you're going to get in my way, I have no choice but to kill you too. Did I mess something up? Because this seems like the regular ending. Richard! You. Oh, it's, it's, it's the different woman. Why? I told you before. You'd have to be prepared to lose everything. You still have one thing left that you haven't sacrificed. Your own life. Nonsense. Oh, no way. Cold as ice. You were just like my sister. Who did you think you'd save by doing this? You pretend like you're making a sacrifice, but in the end you're just being selfish.
You are only trying to bend a fate which cannot possibly be broken. And I actually have control now. I can't investigate him, right? He's dead. Yeah, well. So yeah, now I can actually let Rebecca go if I could find out where she is in the small room. There we go. Done. <laughs> uh, hi. Can I talk to you? That lady. Why did she look so sad? Do you just follow me or something? No? Okay, bye. I'm gonna go follow the mysterious red-headed woman who's probably immortal. I wish the game wouldn't do this. Yeah, that's a no-go. Okay. Jeez. You need this, don't you? Here. Take it. You'll be able to use it to save that woman you love. It's the Soul Stone. The dagger's back. Welcome to the other Echo Knight. Yeah, I'll take it. You're the one person I thought would be different, but in the end, you weren't any different at all. Oh no! <laughs> Bad end. It's not even really an end, I don't think. It's just like a game over. <laughs> I skipped this last time, but let's just watch it. Unexplained disappearance. Oh, was this just the opening cutscene then? Yeah, alright. So yeah, after all that, it's not even a bad end, it's just a straight game over. So, uh, whoops. Shucks, that's a shame. So yeah, unfortunately I am gonna have to do the whole sequence over, I just really wanted to see what happens. So, this is not like the previous Echo Knight, we do not have, what was it, three or four endings? We only have two. So let's go for the good ending. I do have to go through that sequence again, but... We'll, we'll do the right thing this time. You want the dagger? Here's your dagger. It's like one of my favorite lines from the Slayers anime, where they were trying to sell some cursed knife to some random pawn shop owner, and he looks at it and the curse afflicts him, and he gets a red gleam in his eye. And he goes, I'll take this knife if I could take something else too. And they're like, oh yeah? And he like brandishes the knife. And he goes, I'll take this knife and I'll take your lives with it. I'm like, nice. <laughs> it's freaking excellent. So, all right, let's do the sequence again. Yeah, at Winterburn, we totally deserve that. After the entirety of the first game where the whole point is this knife brings nothing but misery and death. And we... Like, got the good ending in the previous game by refusing it. Nah, you know what? This time I'll take it. <laughs> and the thing is, the woman killed us with it. If she didn't, if she just handed it over, we totally would have killed someone else. It would have been just like the first game where we kill that cop. Like, I trust everything's in order, sir. We just murder him. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and the game just ends? The hell was that? That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, right. Okay, let's do this thing. Yeah, it's been forever since you watched Slayers. Slayers was my first anime series. Uh, I had the uh, the first season on tape, and I watched the ever-living hell out of it. I've only seen Next and Try once. They're very good, but I've only seen them the one time. Yeah, Kristen, the best ending in Echo Knight 1 is still the knife in the car, the cop car's trunk. Like, it's out there, and what do you know? Echo Knight 2. Yep, it's out there, alright. <laughs> Can you believe there's another Echo Knight, by the way, on PS2? Echo Knight Beyond? That's a thing that exists.
FromSoft's PS2 era is probably its weirdest era. PS3, they start doubling down on Souls stuff, but like PS2, they had Kuan, Echo Knight Beyond, Eternal Ring, The Adventure of Cookie and Cream. It's like, you don't know what they're doing anymore. I love that I stand here and just wait for him to come out and get his rifle ready. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Ow. Uh... Oh yeah, Micro Slice, Evergrace, I forgot about that. And whatever that prequel to Evergrace was called, I forgot, I forgot the name. The only th I don't even know anything about Evergrace except that it's, uh... Like, the soundtrack is 100% acapella. And what was the other- oh yeah, PS3, they also had 3D Dot Game Heroes. That game is great, by the way. I beat that game, and even when I made it to the end credits, I didn't realize at the time it was from Soft. <laughs> okay, we got this dramatic scene here. And I believe FromSoft did the Tenshu games as well. And obviously Armored Core, but I'm not playing those. Run, Richard! He's insane! He actually just shoots me in the cutscene. Richard! Michael! I mean, I mean, sorry, Albert! So let's go through this whole rigmarole again. This is so cold. God damn. Like, that's probably colder than the opening of the first game, where the old guy stabs the young man and then, like, kicks him in the head. You're just like, ah, oh, jeez, really? <laughs> yeah, Dracologist, uh, FromSoft actually made a game from Spriggan, the, the manga or anime or whatever, but that was Japan only, I think. And I don't know anything about it. So let's save my girlfriend and just leave her here, I guess. Weird, but it was... Bye. I love the way she runs up to me like... Ah, and we're done. Are you going to say anything to me, Richard? No, no, no. I, I got to go up and uh, refuse an offer. Thanks. Well, Cat Sith, do we learn anything about Shooty Stabby Lady? I'm assuming she's the woman written about in the book. When we went back in time, you know, one of the flashbacks, we talked to her and she looks exactly the same. I'm assuming she's immortal and her sister was killed, or her sister killed herself. The, the, what the dick move from soft? Like, let me see where I'm standing. Alright, so let's talk to you. You need this, don't you? Here, take it. You'll be able to use it to save the woman you love. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. There's no other way. I insist. You actually have to refuse her twice, which is kind of amazing. Good end time! Finally, I found the answer. Show yourself. I know you're watching us now. What? Wait, what? Oh! What? <laughs> I told you once before, long ago. I'm assuming it's the blind guy. 
until one comes to inherit your fate, you will never be able to die. That sucks. You have killed Albert. And if this man had taken the stone, you would have killed him too. Yeah, I know. Can you tell me why? Did you not wish to die? I just wanted to see for myself. All I wanted was to know whether or not everyone was willing to crush whatever interfered with their own desires. I've had enough. I got what I wanted. I killed the hell out of Albert. This thing here? Whoa. There's no point in it anymore. This is curious indeed. <laughs> You are all so very interesting. Farewell. I truly did enjoy this. See you on the next generation of consoles. Fate has granted you a pleasant life, and it will bring you death as well. And the dagger stays. Oh, what? This is death? I'm going to die? <laughs> Go. You've earned the life that now awaits you. Even though I've already done this whole thing, I've already earned that life. This is the second time I've saved tons of ghosts and denied the soul stone. Oh, what? We get another FMV sequence. You know, FromSoft subverted my expectations. There was no cursed or dead king in this one. Somehow there was in Echo Knight 1, but not in Echo Knight 2, Lord of Nightmares. Oh wow, I just get sucked into the void. That's crazy. Hooray? The evil clock tower is gone? But it's no longer a blood moon. Take that, soul stone. I, I genuinely, like, I don't know anything about Echo Knight Beyond. I wonder if we're going to do the Soul Stone Dagger again. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. It's been three years since then. <clears throat> so, Jessica, the woman we saved, we just, like, dropped her? Oh, oh! Here's the mention of her, because she's not even in the ending. She refused her invitation to live with us. Despite the fact that she was near the brink of death, she made a miraculous recovery soon after that day. Probably because the curse was broken. Perhaps Albert's wish was granted by the stone at the cost of his life? Or perhaps it was because the stone was destroyed? It's all a mystery to me, but the fact of the matter is, she's alive and well. After we were reunited and things settled down, Christine and I decided to get married. As the days have passed, the horrible events that transpired back then have faded from our thoughts. Are we going to do the twins again? We still keep in close contact with Jessica, though. We often exchange letters. And even if, by some chance, the moon is ever stained crimson again, I know that this tragedy will never repeat itself, because that red stone, which has toyed with our too many lives, no longer exists. That was surprisingly fast text, considering I wasn't going through it. So we don't have the, the twin babies implying the curse perpetuates itself? We did it? We did it! Straight up happy ending! We did it! Oh, and Kristen, uh, ghosts in space? I'll take it. I guess that's Beyond, right? I remember finding uh, Echo Knight Beyond at GameStop, and I had no clue what it was. It's like, there are ghosts around, but I didn't know like the context. I, I haven't played it. But yeah, the, the second Echo Knight that the West got is the third Echo Knight. It's just like, um, the West got Kingsfields 2, 3, and 4, but it thinks that it's 1, 2, and 3. I look forward to seeing whether I'm a genius or superior. 
I guess we'll find out. I completely forgot, was this the music that played on the, uh, the bad end? I don't know. Uh, it, it definitely feels good, though, to have gone through all this. I, uh, I, at some point, I should look up what that record is good for, though. And I think there was also, I might have mentioned this during another stream, but there's also a kind of New Game Plus thing where you can see something, I forgot where, on a projector or something, where um, you can view sort of like stuff about the game. I forgot if it was concept art or what, but like on a second playthrough, like here, have this. Finn. So uh, let's see if I go from... Average? A B plus is average? Let's see if I can do better than that. Hello there, Heron. 3, 2, 1, welcome. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was wondering if this would just lock on this screen. But no, I'm going to get some kind of ranking, I guess. We'll see what it is. I'm excited. Come on, come on. Give me that A or S or whatever the hell. So many points. Out of how many? I don't know. Six digits. A plus. I'm a genius. <laughs> I, I. It just cracks me up when, like, the game calls me a genius. It's not even an IQ game. You beat Echo Knight really well. You're a genius. <laughs> Hello there, Mellow Indigo. Welcome. I did it. I got. 261,620 points? What? Like, I- what? Yeah, right, Dracologist. Not Triple S, though. Yeah, I guess not. Because, mm? yeah, in, in the previous Echo Knight, uh, I, I got Superior, and then when I got the best ending, I got Genius. So, I don't know what an A rank is. B plus is Average. God only knows what they say for C rank. A is a mystery. A plus is genius. Wow. What a hero. I'm so great. It's amazing. But, okay. This concludes uh, the Echo Knight 2 stream. This is wonderful. So, thank you very much for watching this game, and have a wonderful night.